Hello there, and welcome to the Nintendo Club Podcast, level 52. This is our Mario Kart extravaganza. Um, we are recording this May 30th, 2014. This is the day Mario Kart 8 was released for the Wii U in North America, and I think the world. And um, we have been playing uh, some of that game today. I've played about five hours so far. That includes all my Mario Kart TV editing time. And, um, John got it, like, at midnight, which is crazy. I did. Yeah? 12.30 or something? Yeah. About 12.15, yeah. <laughs> yeah? So, uh, Walmart had it out, um... They didn't have it out. I walked in, <laughs> and I, you know, I walked up to the game case to see if they had it, and I knew they wouldn't have it out. And so That's I just walked cool. over to the counter, and the lady was like, oh, let me know if you need anything. I was just like, yeah, do you guys have Mario Kart 8? She goes, oh, yeah, I just haven't put it out yet. She literally, like took her hand, reached under the counter, and just gave one Boom. to me. And I was just like, whoa. <laughs> it was epic. No That's way, no cool. anything. And in your Sears did not have any in stock. No, I checked the, two different Sears, yeah. Evidently, Sears started giving it out on Tuesday, because that's the typical release date for all things entertainment, evidently. I didn't even know. Honestly, I forgot Sears sold video games. Me too. I didn't know. <laughs> I walked in, it was kind of like a graveyard of like video games. So, They're still so sitting there. They're still selling Mario Galaxy like it was a brand new game. That's a great game. It is a great game, but it's like, uh, yeah. how old is it now? So um, me and Aaron both uh, did the Best Buy pre-order with their $10 gas money. So my game ended up costing me $38. Pretty proud about that. Pretty great. Because I also have the, the, the uh, Best Buy Gamers Club. So um, Aaron and I picked it up, uh, what, around noon or so? Yeah. Yeah, so. Um, but, yeah, we've spent the... Uh, afternoon and John a little bit longer playing this game and um, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm playing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I just wanted to kick it off with kind of first impressions and thing. I guess not first impressions but what misconceptions did any of you have about different items or things in the game that turned out to be different? It seemed like to me when I first heard that we were only going to be able to have like one item instead of two, that it was going to be uh, not as fun. You know, it wouldn't be as crazy, but I feel it's like, crazier. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's um, it's hard for me to say. I haven't played a Mario Kart since the N64. OK, I looked um, at the Wii version last night and tried to do online and it said oof. it is. Oh, yeah, discontinued. It's, it's, it's gone. Yeah, yeah. it's gone. <laughs> um, Oh, the, I don't really have any... I, I think it's pretty much... The only thing I'd say is I didn't expect to get so many coins while I was in first place as an item. Like, yeah, coins are, like, given that, like, candy. Yeah, that's all I get when I'm in first place, and it's a little annoying. And, and a banana or a green shell. Yeah, maybe some bananas, but, yeah. It's... The um, big question I had is I thought that Super Horn would be a lot better than it is. It's so weak. It feels like a little, like, beep, beep, like a little tiny. It's not super. It's just kind of well, nice. Well, it's a defensive item. Yeah, I think it'll work a lot better if you are in first place and have to use it for the blue shell. Yeah, That's it's, so it's rare, though. You'll, yeah, you'll get this totally... rare item, the super horn, and you'll get another rare item coming to hit you, the blue that shell. That's going to be, like, it just epic, makes that... yeah. Yeah, it's just so it's much a rare occurrence. It it's I mean, the, I, I swear that item is only there because the blue shell's there. If the blue shell didn't exist, the super horn wouldn't exist. So it's I there. Just to, want a it's just super, balancing it out. Super super horn that does. I want it attacking. Well, that's what the bomb is, right? You throw the bomb but, and it explodes. Yeah, the bomb. The yeah, bomb. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You don't want to. You know, I don't know. Yeah. I see your point. Um. The other thing that's really changed with this game is, in previous Mario Kart games, unlocking characters often took hundreds of hours in knowing exactly what to do to do to do unlocks. Yeah, in I almost, this, I have them all almost. <laughs> yeah, in this game, all you have to do is get a gold in a Grand Prix, um, and it, it's kind of different in um, that aspect, like. It's not a fun thing in the Mario Kart Wii how I'm not going to unlock all those characters because I just don't give a crap about that game first off, but um, it just, <laughs> they make it too... It's a balance of is it too hard or is it too easy or is this... Have they gone too far with how easy it is to unlock characters? I mean, I don't... Unlocking characters to me, is, it's not like where it's Smash Brothers where it's like 
epic which character you get next. It's just kind of like, oh, okay, I can play now, or I can... Here's, here's my question. Do characters show up in the game unless you have them unlocked? Like They do show they... up, for sure. Okay, so, I don't know. Yeah, and another thing is the the rapid, rapidity... Um... <laughs> Rapidity, that yeah, that they are unlocked encourages me to use that brand new character and use a new character for the. As I'm playing the game for the first time, I'm jumping between new character, the new character every single race, which is kind of cool. I'm not. I'm sticking with Yoshi. Seriously? Oh yeah, I've only played with Yoshi and Mario. Because you won't get all the stamps, John. Because if you beat a cup, uh, a Grand Prix with a character, you'll get their stamp. Well, I guess I'll have to go through the game and beat the game as every character like I did in okay. Mario 3D World. <laughs> yeah, I guess you will. Yeah. So, um, Aaron, any, um, I don't know, character impressions as far as, is it a bad thing there? I'm locking so fast. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is it may decrease the replay value for some people. Like, you know, because they... They may be trying to play it just so they can get all of the characters, and then once they get it, I mean, you could still play through all the cups with all the characters, but there's mm-hmm. not as much challenge. Uh, and well, there and the, the coins feel like yeah. they're so much easier to get that I'm also unlocking those cart customizations that much. Yeah, that's too. see, that's more fun to me. The cart customizations are more yeah. fun than the characters to me. And another thing is, unlo- so I banked up online playing with you guys' coins, and when... Evidently, you can only unlock one cart thing every time you enter that mode. So what I was able to do is enter the mode to the cart mode, back out, enter the mode to the cart mode, and do that like four or five times, and I unlocked. But it's bizarre they don't unlock a bunch if you collected more than 50 coins. Does yes. that make sense? Yeah. 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 Mm, I just miss uh, some of the old characters like Dry Bones. Yeah. Well, we may have DLC. I mean, we we are getting that Mercedes car. I think we're gonna. <laughs> I I think we are gonna get DLC. We've this. got to. If they're gonna give us a Mercedes car, they're gonna do additional DLC. That's you know, there's hooks in the game for it. I think know. they'll wait a little bit because. Sure. You know, it's it's new. Plus, do you think they'll announce it at E3 though? No, I don't no? think so. That seems no, that's like gonna be uh, too soon. Too soon? Okay. Yeah, they gotta make it seem like this is a complete game without any DLC, and they gotta distance themselves from just starting to sure. expand it right off the bat. That makes sense. Um, that's what I think, at least. Mm-hmm. I mean, with Pikmin, they were pretty quick to add DLC, right? They were. But and I think Pikmin's a different animal. Things with Pikmin. They updated Pikmin. Uh-oh, yeah. segue. Oh, wait, we're not done with Mario Kart. We're, we're, this is all Mario Kart today. <laughs> there is no what? Other... We're not gonna, that's a big update. No, we will get to that on Sunday. Sunday, we oh, still doing okay, the show. Okay. Level right. 53, since we missed uh, last weekend. I was excited about that when I saw that. I didn't even see the Pikmin update. I'm, I'm getting another copy, though, digitally. So. Um, <laughs> I'm selling you know, my digital copy. Yeah, I'm going to sell mine as well. They're going for about 25 bucks, I think. Yeah, which not is bad. that's well, maybe not, not bad. Pikmin. I but, will look you know. to see whichever one is the most I can get. The Basically, what people are doing is they're um, you they'll pick, you choose, yeah, and yeah. Uh, um, yeah, that's how they're doing it. It's pretty much Pikmin for everybody. That's the most expensive game they're offering, sixty bucks. So, so Amazon's you guys are selling your copies, you know? Okay. Yeah, I have all the oh. other games. I have the games, oh. all those games already. So. Okay, um, this is the second time in a row um, Google is freaking out. This app is using features from a newer version. Okay, it stops. Good. Um, but, so you guys are uh, selling yours. And if I sold mine, that'd be kind of crazy because uh, $38 minus 25 Exactly. Say, say 20 with, um, okay, I gotta... Can you guys talk? I gotta close out a Chrome because it's... Um, oh, I'm on a cop. Right now. So we were racing. <laughs> uh, oh, no! <laughs> I was making some pretty good comebacks. That that was awesome. So it was it's, it's frustrating though. When he, you get... he was making good comebacks. I was falling behind and not coming back. <laughs> yeah, it was frustrating when you're in the like the very back oh, though God. because the, stuck like, back there. Yeah, because the CPU gets so many good items and they do, just, and you just keeps getting hit like over and over with things, and it's so hard to make a comeback when you're back there. It is, yeah. I had trouble. I mean, I think I won maybe one of those games out of we played like twenty. <laughs> um, that it's, I don't know. I still have to play this a little bit more to feel like to know if this is completely as balanced as it first felt. And when I first started playing, it felt really balanced. The more I play, the more I think I don't know how balanced this game is. I feel like the second, uh, or no, like the last 
cup that we did was uh, kind of crazy, and it didn't seem like there was any skill involved because there were just so many items. And yeah. it was like, like um, even when you're in first or second place, you're still. I am back, but cool. I may interrupt and say we did we, select. We change mode, it, yeah. We change it, which yeah. is designed to be well, that's more unbalanced and like that, Aaron. Yeah, that's what. I, well, I was just saying that one <laughs> took no skill. It was just Wait, like there was skill involved. There was no still skill. Okay, when when there's a little bit of skill and mostly just random luck on like which item you get. No, did you prefer no the crazy? You sound like a Smash Brothers player. Yeah, you really do. <laughs> oh, no, I still like uh, the Mario Kart. You know, still like like when you're doing like the regular ones. It's like you know when you're in first place, you only get like a limited selection of things. When you're in yeah, last coins, place, like, I don't like that. Stuff. You get screwed out items in your first place. Well, yeah, yeah because right? why do you need well, items? Yeah, in why do you first need place? them? There's no one else to hit. Like. Like you can throw them backwards, I, but you're not gonna. You know, I really just hit like anything. to not be penalized. You know? It's not penalized. It's just <laughs> you're, you're not in first even place. Be able to penalized. Them. Yeah. Even second place, you don't get anything. You oh yeah, you do. You know, I mean, you want to have like a blue shell and shoot it and have it go all the way around. The <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> that would be so hilarious. And the first place person you throw a blue shell, it goes away all the way around the course and um, hits you. It's <laughs> terrible. The courses. I really like the variety of the courses. Yeah, they it the seems Star like Cup is amazing. They put in a lot more like little things into the courses, you know, like the tar pits and like mm-hmm. sludge and things like that. So you kind of have to watch more as like what you're doing. Um, and like the Bowser course is crazy. There's so oh, many yeah. things on there that you can hit. I'm still finding, you know, there's a lot of shortcuts in all these. I'm kind of watching the other players. Oh, kinda, man, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, one of my favorite things now is that you can see the tire tracks from from uh, oh, huh. all the other Can carts. You? I didn't notice yeah, that. Yeah, so that way when you're laying down like shell or um, like banana peels and stuff, you can see like where other people were. At least it was like that during a single player. I don't know if multiplayer had that as much because I wasn't really paying attention, but yeah. Now something I noticed with this game is the character themselves is not affecting how they play as much as your cart customizations. In previous yeah. games, if you had a big fat dude like Bowser or Donkey Kong, whatever cart you chose would be kind of slow to accelerate but really fast. This game, the character matters much less, and um, it's all about your cart customizations. Yeah, I think. I mean, they'll the be heavier, but be. they'll still accelerate in this game. Yep, it, it's kind of weird. It's a, it's. It makes it so I I feel like in this game I could play as any character and be fine. Yeah, it's all I don't about know if that's like a bad thing or a good thing. It's all yeah. about how much time you put in and you know the coins you get and what you, you choose to upgrade. Well, you don't choose to upgrade anything. It's I mean, chosen choose anything. to play with. I like, mean, uh, how, how much how much variety in characters did you play with him? Did you play as a heavyweight? Did you play as? Oh yeah, I played as metal up. Pink uh, Gold Peach, you know, the best character in the game. Did and, you... Uh, play had, um, what different cards did you, have you tried? I always... Well, I always... So, this is a cool conversation piece. I always um, favor acceleration for cu- cart customizations, and that's my top deciding factor. So that's what I opt for, and normally when I opt for that, the heavy guys make it so that doesn't even make sense, and the acceleration gets negated so much but in this game that didn't affect it what do you guys kind of favor when you design your carts i like the classic cart as far as its specs do you go oh, for acceleration uh handling i uh, go for acceleration and handling i really you know because i like i like the drift turns. i yeah. like yeah i like man i'll tell you when first turning on this game and doing like a drift on the first level the it, it was just epic, like because controls felt so smooth from the get go. I didn't feel like I had to really teach myself how to drift. It just kind of felt really natural. Um, so yeah, I really like I like drifting in this game. It feels really good. Yeah. Have you guys tried the tilt controls at all? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I switched. I really tried them at the demo at Best Buy a year ago or whatever it was. I switched it on for a quick second. It's kind of cool how you can do it right on the fly because there might be some moments. Or I could see where, because when I'm playing, I'm kind of tilting the controller anyways, like I'm drifting. So I could maybe see if it might work, but I don't know. Yeah. I, f- I feel like in the Wii version, they were so loose. They were very loose in the Wii version. <laughs> uh, 
Like, I noticed I like, on the box it says I can use the Wii uh, Classic controller. They got everything on there. That's like the really old school one. I think I might try using the Pro controller. I mean, tomorrow. it's good same as the, the game pad. To, well, yeah, I just want... Well, because I find myself not even looking at the screen. I yeah, use it for the map all. to a little bit. Yeah, see. I don't use that at all. I just, I just wish it was a rear view mirror. I really wish that was a thing. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, I was watching a Twitch stream, though, and a guy was, like, looking behind him, like, multiple times. Like, There's a way to do that, I think. Yeah, and I don't know how you do it. Cause I didn't I figure that out. I actually out. did it once. Is like I, think I, I, actually, it. I think I actually did it once, too. I don't Maybe know like what the I did. Or do, you, do you click? Oh, I think it might be the D-pad. I haven't tried oh, that. Oh, that makes sense, because I didn't think the D-pad did anything. I went into the... I, I hit start, as I always do with any game, and went to options, because I you know wanted to see if I could change controls. Nope, they don't let you change anything on the controls. No, like, and it's funny, they only give you like four different things there. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's so like strange. accelerate, brake, drift, that's all you need to know. I kind of wish accelerate <laughs> was the trigger, but I guess whatever. Oh, I don't now like you can go in reverse by holding B down. <laughs> you can do what? Go in reverse. <laughs> Which yeah. I don't know why you'd ever want to. Well, do that. that's kind of helpful stuck. if you um, <laughs> have a really sharp turn and like you know you're not going to make it. Uh, you can hit B to slow down instead of trying to, to do the drift. So hmm. I'll have to try that. Yeah, but uh, as far as my cart customization, I uh, like. I also go for handling because I care most about making those turns and being able to drift. Um, mm -hmm. And then also speed. I don't really care much about the acceleration because as long as, you know, you continue going, you will reach your speed. Well, <laughs> so. I feel Mario Kart acceleration is vitally important because you get hit by shells and speed doesn't matter if you can't accelerate and get back to where you're Exactly, you yeah. And that's yeah. why acceleration matters more than speed in my book. Yeah. I understand Tra that, but I traction is important too. Speed. Yeah, absolutely. I actually go for the slim tires because there's less traction, um, and I like but the faster the celery. Yeah, and I like um, the less traction, so I can kind of. I don't know. I feel like I'm sliding around. It's it's. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Now I love the the thing where if you hit the horn, everybody around you will jump up a little bit. Yeah. I don't think it slows them down any. I was experimenting with that a little bit at the, at the start of the race with uh, computers. If I did that when they are going, if they'd shudder at all, but I don't think it matters. <laughs> I hate how some of the characters' horns suck. Yeah, so are <laughs> Yeah, like I use like Shy Guy and the, the Koopa Trooper, and it's like really weak horns. Dude, yeah, Yoshi's is like, wah, wah. <laughs> it is like, it's really sad. And I hate how like Yoshi's got some okay tricks, but man, when I do Mario and I do like you know when I do the tricks off the ramps, his his are so much cooler. He's like flipping around. He looks like DDR how do you do Mario. Tricks? I don't even know how to do tricks. Oh, Aaron, you're missing what? on all these. I've never boots. been doing tricks. I've just been getting the ramps. You get you get you get, <laughs> you get an acceleration if you do a trick. Too. Yeah, oh, you, well, how do you do that? You do a hit R when you right when you uh, launch off a ramp. Okay, cool. This has been in many Mario Kart games. Well, yeah, I don't know. I, I okay. don't. I haven't played Mario Kart since '64. Are you the serious? When you I... didn't play the 3DS one at all? No. So this must be like a breath of fresh air, then. I mean, this is. Oh yeah, this is awesome. I played the 3DS like barely. Um, and... I didn't get it because you know, it, yeah. I knew this was coming. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. So favorite courses, everybody. I don't have them all unlocked yet. What? Yeah. I'm just uh, working through the cups right now. I'm still on the. For, I think I'm. What's on, your like, favorite so far? There's some fourth. Uh, my favorite so far would be uh, the Wario, the Snow. Oh yeah, that is oh, probably yeah. my favorite in the game. It is. It's, it's just the so best. creative and especially like it's the beautiful. the last part where you're doing like the shalom thing, the the ski stuff. Yeah. yeah. It just looks so good, like the reflections off the ice, and it's pretty great. It's amazingly great. Um, now Rainbow Road, I wish it was not lap based, but just a longer course. I the only thing I wish I'd see more of out of any of these courses is kind of like a F Zero style like full circle thing where I could, um, in you know, in gravity, anti gravity, kind of like just not have to worry about the track and kind of just spin around. And, you know, yeah. um, other than that, I'm really satisfied with all the course designs. Or uh, maybe something like Sonic, uh, Sonic All Star Racing, where the course changes each lap. 
Some of them oh, do that. Yeah. Yeah, some, some of them, of them do that. Like Wario um, does that, right? One of the tracks... Uh, well, that one uh, doesn't even have any laps. It's just like different sections. Oh, you mean it's the same thing you're racing on? They just said minor changes. Yeah. So, uh, okay. Have well, you they played the you... Sonic one? No. It's been a while. I haven't. Yeah. Yeah. Each lap, the like the course changes. Like some parts of it mm-hmm. will be like mm-hmm. completely torn up, and then you'll be in your ship in that part. Right. But yeah, what were you saying, John? Um, I was gonna say this. I like how some of the courses give you a lot of like choices on where to go. Like one of them. It's one of the ones that's it's in the like dirt and mountains. It, it, there's so many different arrows pointing so many different directions. Yoshi's could, yeah. uh, Yoshi's course. I think so. Yeah, which you is one of the better N64 courses. Yeah, yeah. I, I love that you can just kind of twist and turn and pick where you want to go on the fly. Yeah. Now, um, Toad's Turnpike. Ooh, I, I just Toad's had a Turnpike. blast with that one. Um, like it felt like the days I was in gravity black. felt so natural. <laughs> yeah, I felt like I was in Minute Black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> then you're jumping on top of cars and stuff. Yeah. And there was this one part where I was bo- uh, over the whole interstate because I flew up because of a boost or something. Um, it feels like cars are less... In the original N64 game, the cars were such a pain in the butt because you get ran yeah. over all the time. There was... It was like a this one. It's not a the. It's not rush hour, right? The original game was rush hour when you're on Toad's Turnpike. This one's like, oh, it's three p.m. in the afternoon, <laughs> <laughs> or it's like an nine p.m. when the cars are off the road. Like it feels like there's less of them. Yeah, which I don't know if it's bad or good. It makes it more playable. I think. I like it. I think it's good. That's one of my favorite levels. And then um, the Shy Guy Falls. I just had the comment on how awesome the um, Shy Guy Working song is, where yeah, you hear the Shy Guys <laughs> working, and they're like, uh, kind of like the Seven Dwarfs almost. I don't yeah. even rem- I don't even you heard that, kind of see them off to the left. Yeah, they're like, like in, uh, in with in their the axes or something. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing. It's pretty great, though. Yeah, the music is, is just great in the entire game. Can we have the soundtrack, please? Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah, they got I the really Mario like... 3D World uh, band back together for this one. Oh, they did. They actually, I think they did. I think Nintendo showed that off in the, the last Direct, right? Yeah, it's funny in the credits, they just say, the Mario Kart band. It's like, that's a good <laughs> way to honor the people who yeah. um, did the music. Thanks, you know, Nintendo, and yeah. you, you got room in the credits, just put all the people that played their instruments. There's probably about 50 musicians in there. Maybe it's, less. it's strange to me how they show the credits after I beat the 50cc. Yeah. I'm like... Well, you uh, finished, you've unlocked all the courses. That's probably what it was. I guess, but the game's not anywhere close to being over. No, Could be over not. for those who only want to do 50 <laughs> <and stuff. laughs> Now, yeah, I've got um, three characters that remain to be unlocked. So um, those will be unlocked tonight, probably. Um, now, I'm 50 CC... It, like, all day tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Everything. yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. <laughs> now, 50 CC felt... Like, this is the easiest 50cc they've ever done. Yeah, it's pretty easy. I got like, pretty much gold, yeah. you know, gold stars on all of them, the three ones, most yeah. of them. Yeah, it felt super easy, which is fine, because the 50cc is kind of let me learn the course and leave me alone kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a good, yeah, I felt, you know, give me these controls, let me, it took me a while to figure out how to do the tricks, you know, I, I so, it's, mm-hmm. it was okay. I'm doing the 100cc right now, as we speak. Okay. <laughs> now, um... This game, I can actually talk and play at the same time. It's so <laughs> second nature. <laughs> the, the, me, the me character, I think they did really well. Like, I actually kind of want to play as him. No! Except no, that you yours don't. is, like, 12 feet tall, so... <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, just have a short like... me, Aaron. No, I have a regular me. No, I didn't change the size. I didn't change the size of my me. I just made a tall I like an American. Them. Because I was like, well, that's pretty normal size, and I'm, you know, about like a normal height. Dude, so. <laughs> Your guy's like three feet tall in my Tomodachi game. No. Uh, he, he's just regular size, and you're a giant. That's I don't know about that. <laughs> now, there is a, a whole stamp system that I've been unlocking. Basically, so far I've unlocked stamps as I've beaten Grand Prix with new characters. And I've got 39 out of 90, so there's obviously more stamps than there are characters, so I'm curious. Yeah, um, I noticed that you start out with, like, 28 already. Yeah, you start stamps. out with a, a fair amount. 28 characters? 
28 stamps. stamps. Oh, stamps? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that sounded right. I've only unlocked two, but like I said, I was only playing as Yoshi, so. Yeah, so I'm, yeah I'm curious how to unlock all the rest of those stamps. I'm glad that stamps are continuing. I think stamps are cool. It's a cool thing. It's a cool. It's kind of our achievement system for the week. Yeah, I think that's going to kind of continue. I I think that it like wasn't planned and it just like it was an accident. Yeah, yeah totally. And like oh yeah, this is a huge people success. like this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> people like ripping off and erasing Mario's head and putting a goomba on top of it. <laughs> right. Um. So does anyone? Have a favorite cup so far, like one that just stands out. Well, it Mine's, sounds like you just want to talk about your favorite cup. Mine's Star Cup. I've said that before. <laughs> that's so fantastic. Yeah, that's a good one. That's the one with with Wario's level. It's right? got Sunshine Airport, Dolphin Shoals, oh, yeah. Electrodome, and Mount Wario. That's like the yeah, best the four best. courses in the game. Almost. Yeah, that is. <laughs> The Electrodome is, or yeah, what's it called? Electrodome. Like Electrodome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I love that's that a good one. one. Yeah, that one's cool because you can be like, someone could be literally like on the same track and they'll be like right below on top you. of you. Yeah, or below you or on top of you. It's and it's, yeah, it's really cool. So when you guys go on there, I noticed that you typically go to the right side so that way you're like on the right, like on the ground. I tend to go to the left so that way I'm, you know, up on the ceiling. What level are we talking about? Electrodome. Um, yeah, Electrodome. And the reason why I do that is because if there's any other characters over there on the left side, I can get a boost off of them. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I guess. Because are down on the ground, so you can't get a boost. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. <laughs> He's just saying. <laughs> I use my drifting to boost, Darren. Just saying. That's yeah, well, I, do it. I drift as well. I drift and I hit people. I get multiple boosts. Plus, I okay. hit those little blue things that give me the boost along the way. So. Okay. Yep. Now, have you guys played around <laughs> with Mario Kart TV at all? Oh, yeah. It's no, awesome. I haven't. Have you uploaded what? anything to YouTube yet, John? I uploaded one thing. Um, honestly, I just... You, um, Aaron, you got to do this. After a race, I just go in the setting. Pretty much every race I do this. I cha- I go in and I change it to 60, 60 seconds, take out the music, um, and man, just being able to put everything in slow motion, it's so much <laughs> It's so much fun watching it everything in cool. slow motion. I got a great one. My first one I uploaded was um, when I used a super horn as baby Rosalina on this big uh, Koopa-ling dude. Um, Koop, uh, what do you call him? Koopa-ling? Yeah, the, the Koopa brothers. Kids. Koopa Kids, yeah. And it just was kind of hilarious. So That was my I, first one. I and uploaded I, one because I literally won by like a... I literally slid in and beat the person and came in first by like a nanosecond. And it was <laughs> epic. I uploaded our last race uh, that we played together. Oh, did you? But, yes. Oh, man. Well, and I showed the ending where... I'm behind you, uh, all rainbow start up, and you got your prana thing, and uh, oh, nice! It's just yeah, it's aggravating. It was the so o- close. <laughs> only thing I don't like about Mario Kart TV is when camera up- angles. I wish I could change those. Well, that's okay. They do a pretty decent job of picking cool camera angles. I wish that I could, in the playback, like pick which parts I wanted to be slow motion and all that. And I wanted to be able to do voiceovers. Uh, well, that'd be great. That'd know. be cool. I mean, just like, like, like in the, the um, Nintendo Direct, they had that voiceover. I think it'd be hilarious to just have people do hilarious voiceovers on these things. I don't know. Are you talking about like the really weird one? Like the really yeah, weird one? <laughs> like the, see the sexy tires oh, rolling yeah. in the mud. <laughs> I mean, that, that would be hilarious if they allowed to do voiceovers. I don't know. It'd be kind of cool. Um. Yeah. I, I, I tried monetization. I'm gonna. I'm pretty sure I will get a feedback saying this isn't allowed. Oh no way! Um, so evidently, um, as of today, the day the game comes out, I was able to monetize my Rainbow Road uh, Mario Kart uh, TV clip. But the one between us, the Mount Wario course, it got matched for third party content already. So. Um, it seems to be hit and miss with this as far as what you can upload and, and claim. I would say just stay away from that so that way you Well, I'm going to claim it, whatever, problems. and they can tell me <laughs> otherwise. But, you know, you take what you get. Uh, uh, so, online. Might be worth, well, it's, <laughs> it's far, one thing that the Mario Kart TV kind of sucked at, um, I was... Uploading a video, it was thirty seconds long, and it yeah. took it took like 
four it minutes. It takes a while. And the sad part is you can't do anything else while you're doing it. Which there is was kind of, an icon of someone kind of sleeping. Pathetic. Yeah, kind of pathetic. Uh, <laughs> I love the icon of someone sleeping. That's kind of great, actually. Um, that was a little annoying, and it made me want the Ethernet adapter, just that alone. There's no, now, lag, there's no lag in the game, but honestly, just being able to up, <laughs> upload videos to YouTube quicker. Now, if you say no to YouTube, will it upload directly to Meverse? It does. It skips that, and it goes to a Meverse post. Well, so have you, say, have you ever tried to say no? Will it directly upload to Meverse? What do you mean directly? Like, it uploads to Meverse? It up it lo uploads to YouTube, and in Meverse, it actually just gives you a link to YouTube and embeds it there. Oh, is that what it does? That's what it does. That's part. I think that's part of the reason they did YouTube. I mean, YouTube's a great advertisement, but um, I think it, makes, I... it probably makes Meverse a lot easier to run if all these Mark 8 TV videos are on YouTube. Oh, yeah, if they're running on YouTube, yeah. They're letting YouTube do all the work. All the bandwidth, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't think that was the case. I think I uploaded I would imagine video. it uploaded to Meverse if you said no. That's what I think it did. I think I did that one time. I'll have to go back and check. You guys, if you're following me on Meverse, you can go watch, look, and see. I'm, I've done a few posts. Tim, I noticed you haven't posted on Meverse since, like, November. That's not true. I, I post all my We Fit You uh, uh, achievements. Not that I saw. Are those not showing up in my timeline? I don't think so. So I've been walking all, all sorts of places. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Oh, I got yeah. my, my new Fit meter. Yeah, I got some... Um, uh, uh, I mean, um... um 12,000 steps in for the day so far. So Sorry, online. Close. So online, yeah. So online is pretty solid. We've only I've only done the friend stuff. Uh, John, I, I, I wager you're venturing out. I've played... Um, so I got the game last night. I played a few races by myself. I played a few races with my friend Split Screen, which was awesome. Uh, ran beautifully, and then I jumped into online, and I played pretty much regional. There was no mm -hmm. lag, not a single bit of lag whatsoever. Um, does regional just mean United States, or does it mean southern? It means United North States? America. So I played a few people in Canada, a few people in Mexico. Yep. Um, I played this afternoon. I played. Um, there were pretty easy matches. I didn't come in first in any of them, but I was getting like second, third, maybe mm -hmm. fourth. Uh, this afternoon, I played some worldwide matches, and I played a lot of people from the Netherlands and Germany nice. um, and some UK people. They were better. <laughs> I was yeah. getting, like, uh, fifth, sixth place pretty consecutively. I wasn't going to be last, but they were definitely better. Um, now, when No lag either, though. So Both worldwide and regional, do you start to build up your Mario Kart rank? I started at, like, 1,000, and it, you know, it stayed... Whatever I did, it continued on from there. And so then, like, regional it, will affect that as well? Oh, yeah. It, yeah. It's, okay, cool. all, it's all consistent. It doesn't get reset or anything. Now, when you're setting up, if you're the one running like the friend room, what kind of options are you presented when you're setting up your race? You mean with friends? Yeah. How's that work? Um, so I've only yeah, been on the back end of that. So, yeah, when you're playing with people worldwide, you don't really get to pick anything, I don't think. Not that I noticed. Yeah. Um, but when we were playing together, it let me pick the CC. So, you know, 50, 100, 150. Let me pick if I want mm -hmm. computers at all. If I want computers, how, you know, how good the AI, how intelligent they were. Yeah. Let me pick out certain items. We could have, you know, just shells, just bananas, just um, explosives. There was frantic mode, which was pretty mm -hmm. fun. You can do no items, which is cool. That's they like also, for glory mode. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they also let you do teams. So if they said, if you want to do teams, you can do that. Which what does I never, that even mean? Uh, Blue shirts versus yellow shirts. What does that mean? <laughs> I think it just means, yeah, they split everybody in half and you're the either points, on one team point or... Based? It's point I, It's got to be point-based. Yeah. Um, but they... I, I, I didn't play any battle mode or any verses or time anything online. No, I, I kind of won. I've never really dived into those. Yeah, I just did races. Battle seems like it'd be fun at some point. I had yet to try battle mode. Now, there's tournaments, too, which seems like a cool thing to do. Yeah, I, have, I didn't jump into that Because we could set up, like, a weekly tournament that happens from, I don't know, 5 to 6 p.m. every Sunday, you know. And I don't know. Cause you, you can set that up as weekly tournaments, which is cool. Um, two issues that I have with this game, I was just thinking of. Yep. Uh, first one, you were talking about, like, oh. th there was no lag online. I noticed a couple times since we were, um, doing, like, a voice, uh, call while we were playing, that Tim, there was a few times when you were, like, right in front of me, and I could hear your sound coming through my headphones, and you would hit, like, 
um, like a box and you pick something up, but on my screen, you just went through it. So <laughs> it, like, well, that'll yeah, happen. So, I mean, that's going to yeah. be happy because so, you have also, you also the figure in Google Hangouts lag, which is not lag free. No, but it, it didn't show you pick up that, that box. So like where I was right behind you and I was like, Oh, he's going to pick this up. Let me go over to the right so I can get one as well. I would Wait, go over it and that one to wouldn't go away. Stuff and make it no, no, what I'm saying is <laughs> no, no. What I'm saying is I would already be planning. Like I would see you going for a certain box. So I would go over to make sure that I get one too. Yeah. But then I would hear yours go off and that box would stay. And I and then I would still go and get the one I was originally going to get. I don't think anyone would, would ever encounter this stuff unless you were, I don't know. It's, it seems like it's not a. I don't think you'll notice it if you're not online Google Hangouting. No, <laughs> no. What I'm saying is, even if we weren't, if I couldn't hear it, yeah, I would see you go straight through that box and not pick it up. Do you know what I'm saying? He's... You went through the box, okay. and did not pick it up. Saying. So I could have stayed behind you and picked it up. That's what huh. I'm saying. Okay. Do you think he did pick it up and your game just didn't know it? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it's probably like a lag issue. It, it didn't, like, hmm. you know, communicate that you picked that up. But I could hear okay. it on your TV that you did. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, second thing is party chat. Why is there not a party chat all the way through, like, system-wide now? No, system-wide on the Wii. Oh, system-wide? Yeah. Yeah. So, I've, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, mm. it's, it's not a little... there. It's too... Um... It's a little clunky. <laughs> you know, it's really you, you can't talk to your friends. <laughs> it sounds <laughs> terrible too when you're in that like little lobby and say something. It doesn't. And it, I don't think it sounds that bad. It doesn't oh, sound bad. Know. It only sounds bad when you're doing hangouts plus that. Maybe um, I got used to you know good sound on like my turtle beach. Oh my stuff, gosh! Well, so. you're using the headset. If you use the headset, that sounds just as good. You can plug a headset mm. into your gamepad. That's what that port is for, Aaron. Yeah, it's not gonna a headset. Sound that look that sound beautiful because it's still going through the microphone. No, it's that's not on on no. the gamepad. No, no, you will be. Well, you I will be, be going through. Sure, I'm not gonna wear a stupid headset. I'm not wearing stupid headset. Else will, I'm not, I'm not. It doesn't sound good. So. Yeah, I'm not gonna wear a stupid headset. It's it's not. It sounds just as good as the crappy earbuds they gave me with my PS4. Yeah. You should see this piece of crap headset they give you with a PS4. <laughs> it is so horrible. Um. Yeah. I mean, I have no problem with sound quality there. I just wish it was during the races because it sucks that we have to do a Google Hangout to uh, talk and scream during the game. Well, do you think Nintendo could handle, like, millions of consecutive voice chats going on? All yes. The t- all those kilobytes of data. I don't know. You know, they don't... I don't know. <laughs> they get limited to, like, say, friends in groups of four, maybe, because groups of 12 would get crazy. Sure. Yeah. I don't know. Well, maybe they'll update it. <laughs> like, I just want, like, a system update with party chats. So that way... That's not you know, happening. That's not happening. <laughs> this is not People. an Xbox. You can just... Yeah, just chat whenever to whoever. I'm not whoever. saying it's the next one. I'm just saying it's it's a necessary yeah. thing for multiplayer games. It yeah, is because that's, that's, it is. Yeah. I had a friend who was I saw his and I want to say this. I've never seen so many people in my friends list on there we used as they were today playing Mario Kart. <laughs> um, but I I had a, saw one of my friends was online and I wanted to play him and there was really no way for me to communicate. You can send a message to him. So I did that. I have no. What did idea. that do? Well, where did they get the message? Exactly. I, I, I have no idea. <laughs> Does that go to Beavers? I, is it gonna Beavers in the next time they launch a Beavers? I, I think he gets a. I think he gets a pop up. I had no idea if he'd gotten it or not. Yeah. I had no like, you know, it didn't say oh delivered. I now, I, had to, I text him, and that was the best way was for me to pick up my iPhone and text him. Now, hey, do, he, do you want to play uh, Mario Kart? <laughs> were you able to join his game at all by just selecting his icon and say join? Yeah. So you could do that. Yeah. Okay. Isn't that how you joined our game? It was, but I wasn't sure if if you're not in a friend match, creating a friend. Well, like, you join people in a worldwide Oh, no, atmosphere. no, that's all random. That just, so you, you can't a... join friends if they're in a worldwide match? No, you can't. Because in 7, you can. In I... 7, if you're in a worldwide match, you see they're playing and you can hit join game. I didn't, ex- maybe I haven't experienced that because I haven't seen my friends playing online, but I did not see an option for okay. that anywhere. We'll have to, we'll have to test that out. Yeah. Maybe. Um... Yeah, the whole it seems like very. So in 3ds, you even join. Off. Um, you join from your friends list. Like you don't even have to open up Mario Kart Seven. You can, um, if they're playing the game, your friends list, it'll just say join game. Where in the like the 3ds list. friend list on the 3ds, yeah. What? Really, really elegant. So I'm not sure how. 
if they match that kind of feature. Well, there is a Wii U update coming the next month, right? Sure. It'll have the party chat that Darren wants. <laughs> it'll, it'll, well, at least have the fast boot-up mode where we can just jump right into Mario Kart. It will. Maybe, maybe they'll add a few other things to make the online a little smoother. Yeah, yeah that's true. Um, <laughs> so we've talked about single, we've talked about the cup stuff. Um, I feel like the stars are easier to obtain in this game. Like three stars and seven were a bit to the pain to try to get them all. Don't you just have to come in first place every time no, you get no, three no. stars? You what you gotta this, do? You have to, in seven, you have to have a prominent lead. Where you're just kicking their butts, and if if that you get, if you're in you know third or second place, majority of that race, you will not get three stars. You'll get two, and seven. It's much harsher. So I'm not sure kind if that's of, kind of makes me here. still kind of go back to that thing, you know, like the replayability. replayability. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, I do get frustrated. So I was like, oh come on, it's too blue shell. Now I got two stars. Yeah. I even yeah, even if you in first. But anyways, um, I'm sure we'll have more to talk about on this game in the future because uh, you know battle mode versus and time trials. I I don't even know what the, what's the point of time trials. What, what what do I do there? Isn't it you got a certain amount of time to to beat it or something? Like, do you get anything for doing that? Is my question. Do you unlock anything? Isn't that where you can put your time online so that way you can compete with people? Oh okay. <gasps> okay. oh. Doesn't this game have ghosts? Go- ghost like uh, developer yeah. ghosts? And that, that's what that would be for oh. I, I thought you could also race your friend's ghosts as well. You like can. You can yeah. Okay. That, I'll play I around with that. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Okay. That's pretty much playing with your friends when they're not online. Yeah. That's tournaments cool. is that way too, right? Are tournaments, my understanding is it's, is it like Mario Golf where it's asynchronous tournaments? I don't know. What does that mean? I've never played Mario where Golf. They do their. They do their entry, then you do yours, and you're seeing ghosts and stuff. The only um, thing that I think would not work with that is, you know, you wouldn't be able to hit them with exactly. Items. Oh, yeah, items. Good point. Yeah, I'll have to see how the tournaments work because it may be completely different from golf. I would, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Why it's limited to time trials is items. Yeah. So, Aaron, anything else you want to talk about in this Mario Kart episode? Uh, yeah, it has a red case, and it's awesome. I like it the does. case. It does. <laughs> I really wish it, the Wii U part was red, though. Yeah. That would be so much cooler. Also, I was so surprised today. I went to go pick up my copy, um, and they actually knew what they were doing, like had it ready. It was like, sitting up there. I said the show on the receipt. Yep. And yeah, it was it was kind of strange because normally they're like, what? Like, okay, like when I went to go pre order the game, I was like, I need to pre order, uh, you know, Mario Kart 8. And he's like, what system is that for? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and then I was like, for the Wii. Well, I, I think I just said Wii or so something. You did, um, like, so when you did your Best Buy pre order, you did it in store? Yeah. That's store. why you had yours in the receipt and mine was email because yeah. so I was an online order. Okay, that makes sense. Um, and he said, for the, for the Wii or the 3DS or the Wii U? And I was like, for the Wii U, there's only one. On Mario Kart, and he like took forever, and then he was like, "Do you want to come back here and, and check to make sure that I got the right one?" And I was like, "No, as long as it says Mario Kart Eight, you got the right one." <laughs> wow. Yeah. Now my store had um a pile about yay big, about ten to twenty Mario Kart Eight ones, and those were all in store pre orders, and the online ones were separate from that. So well, there was a decent amount in my Best Buy. My and I saw buy. the console on the shelf, the Mario Kart 8 bundle. Yeah, I I got a PS4 instead of getting that. But you already have Wii, you don't need to... I know. Oh, you were initially going to get the bundle, weren't you? Yeah, because I still want the black and the 32 and the everything yeah. else. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, whatever. Yeah, we'll talk about your <laughs> PS4 stuff on Sunday, because I want to dig into that. Yeah, bit, I still cause... got a little bit more to play with, although I don't think I'll have much time, because I think I'll be playing Mario Kart. Yeah, yeah. Because it's Cause... beautiful. At some point, I think it'll come to a head where PS4 is going to have um, Alien Isolation, of course, uh, <laughs> Last of Us Remastered, uh, Tomb Raider. Yeah. Like there'll be a sizable enough for me to want to get one. I'm of going to have to pick up that PlayStation 4 to get The Last of Us again because that, that, that game was that, awesome. I was looking on the PlayStation Shop, wherever they call it, and it, 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 the date is marked for the last day of this year. 
Let's just say placeholder date, probably. Yeah. You, I mean, E3, they'll, probably... they'll announce something real. Okay. It's got to be soon. It's been out, what, a year now? They'll announce it at E3. Uh, cool. The summer. So anything else you want to cover, John, in this uh, Mario Kart uh, extravaganza? It <laughs> is... So I, I've i been playing Watch Dogs before this, but i got to say, <laughs> I think this game looks better than Watch Dogs on my PlayStation 4. Wow. And I'll Bold stand claim. behind that, yeah. Full claim. I think this is, like, the best... Yeah, it's, like, the best-looking game I've this played. This is the best Mario Kart game time. by far. And I, I'm... I was playing the Wii game yesterday, last night. It's like, I just wasn't having any fun with the Wii game. Just like... Oh, that game's ugly, man. It wasn't even that. It was like <laughs> the feel of it all. It just didn't feel right. I, I saw some people playing, like, the, the Wii version at a uh, game bar we had near my house. Yeah. And I just was... And I was thinking, probably, because they... Obviously, didn't have like the nice component cables. They were playing with the crappy ones that came with. But I was just mm-hmm. looking at the TV. I was like, "This game looks so horrible. It looks worse than the GameCube one." Yeah. Um, now I will. I'm curious if this game will work with the GameCube controller later this year. That would be kind of interesting. Do you, does it need yes. to? Yes. I think it'd be great if it did. Yeah, I think it'd be nice just have that that option. But um, oh, we'll wait, talk you, about this more on Sunday. You we can already. Right. Over... Wait. Go ahead. I'm super excited now playing that uh, Sunshine Chorus, and like because of that controller thing, as you said, Tim. Like, <laughs> yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. maybe we'll get the Sunshine remake. Because... Maybe we'll get a virtual console. We'll talk about that on Sunday. Yeah. You, you guys know you can already play this game with the GameCube controller. If you buy, GameCube? no, if you buy the adapter that goes from Wii Mode oh, to GameCube, oh, it's not as good as it's yeah, the same fish. thing. It's wired. That's gonna be better. Oh, come it's on. not going to be a hack where you're hacking. It's not a hack. It just thinks it's a classic controller. But yeah, it'll, but have, the the, uh, controller. it'll have the analog. It'll have the analog. No, but uh, it, you, it is a GameCube controller. No, no, what I'm saying is I want it to like have the know, analog uh, have like the buttons trigger. say like A is like the green. Button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, better. wait. You can um, you can use a GameCube controller. Is what I'm saying. No, but what I'm saying is if if they actually like really oh. do support it. It'll come up with the actual controls. Like yeah, it'll be uh, less janky. Yeah. Eh, it's a, there's one button in this game. It's like the A button. <laughs> <laughs> there are four buttons, I think. Um, and it would be nice to have that, um, as you said, um, like the analog or like the digital. Whatever. Yeah, the uh, trigger the that is. Yeah, there yeah. we go. Trigger. Yes. So, yeah, anyways, Mario Kart 8, pretty fantastic. Um I don't know what it'll say. The music is just blowing my mind. Like I'm just, I just, I just want to turn off everything. And just listen to music for a while. It's just so great. It's good. You can. You just lose a lot of races. I <laughs> wish there was like a soundtrack <laughs> mode that got unlocked though when you beat everything. Yeah. Maybe it does. I don't know. Or maybe you get something this will for be all three stars. A part of the platinum rewards this year. Yeah. Like a soundtrack bundle. That would be awesome. Soundtrack bundle with 3D World and Mario Kart. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, okay. So, I think that's a wrap. You guys are selling your codes. Yep. Yeah, if anyone wants to come at me on Twitter and offer <laughs> me money for my code, I'll totally send you a code if you pay me, yeah. PayPal me some money. Because eBay will take, you'll lose about 10 to 12%, I think, total. If anyone wants Pikmin 3, Wind Waker, or Mario U for 25 bucks, I'll let it go for 25 bucks okay. to any listener. I heard it there. That's no, pretty I, good deal. Yeah. I, I'm still... Not sure if I want to sell it. I think I should. That's a lot. Yeah, because you have a lot of games back there on that shelf. I don't. Well, think you I, know, I, I don't have a lot of digital games. It'd be nice <laughs> to just turn on my Wii U and be able to play Pikmin. Man, has, DLC. has that grown in the past couple of days? Well, well, yeah. Well, I picked up. Um, it was on the deal of the day. Oh. The Amazing <laughs> Spider-Man Two. Still yes. in the wrap. So it's still the wrapper. It's um, <laughs> it's collector's item. <laughs> there's like so many games that that came out the past couple of weeks. Like I want to get there's probably like four games that I want to get right now. So I don't know because I'm trying to do one game a week. So I don't know which ones. And I just gotta say, look at the difference in the album artwork for this. <laughs> God, yes. Yeah, this is we... like really who designed this? They weren't. But ready even for the that back game. was like. Let's just throw yeah. on the Wii uh, thing there, and uh, it's it's just hilariously. Bad. Yeah, the whole. I think I agree with Aaron. That whole Wii version seems not ready, unfinished. <laughs> it was the best-selling Mario Kart game. Only because the Wii was the best-selling system. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> doesn't mean anything. No, it doesn't. 
So, and I find it funny that uh, 3DS and Wii games uh, and Wii, Wii tracks are in the retro mode of this Mario Kart 8. Yeah. Anyways, I think that's a wrap. We'll be back Sunday, and uh, we'll be doing, what, level 53, covering more Mario Kart, and a lot of crazy stuff that happened this week. You know, so. Yeah. GameCube stuff, Mario <laughs> Kart. Free E3. E3. Mario Kart and Mercedes, and more of that, and um, some other stuff. I got notes on. And I gotta play Tom Tomodachi. I've got the demo, so I don't think we've talked about that yet. Cause I didn't have it last time. So, anyways, Aaron, where can folks find you in the interwebs? Uh, you can find me at my newly created uh, name, <laughs> this is Al Rivera two three nine. And as you can see on my lower third, I'm the comeback kid. That's you get cut off. You had too much oh, stuff. Wait, there. Oh, is it cut off? Because on mine, it I says see the AKA full thing. the. <laughs> that's that's, says, that's weird because on on mine I see the full thing, so I was like, oh yeah, that, yeah, that, it's kind of nice. AKA the, <laughs> the, that's right. I am the the comeback. Yeah, the... Aaron was doing pretty good at comebacking. In, uh, yeah, Mario agreed. Uh, but yeah, you can find me on Twitter, Al Rivera two three nine. There you go. Now, Aaron, you might win those comebacks if you had won the gold movie. I don't need all that jazz. It's Did all, you guys? It's all about skill, not about about what I. Did, did you guys see they have a Luigi? They have a Luigi wheel <laughs> and the Mario wheel. I didn't know they had a Luigi one. I didn't know about that. Yeah. I kind of want them. I saw it when I was searching Sears website to see if they had the game on sale already. <laughs> oh wow! I was like, whoa, what is this? Now, I had to have Best Buy ship my Spider-Man game to me because it was not in stock at any of the local Best Buys. Of, of course, it wasn't. <laughs> they had it in stock for PS4 though. Yeah. Not Anyways. Xbox One. No, because that's only no. Digital. It's in stock now. Wait, Digitally. Wait. Digitally, I went to Best Buy. No, I saw it. They they have actual physical copies. I went to Best Buy. And I thought wow. that game wasn't coming out for Xbox One. It came out the like day <laughs> one on their store, and I went about a week ago, and it was there. Oh, okay. okay. On May twentieth. So yeah, that was wow. So uh, John, where can folks find you on the interwebs? You could find me. Um, Twitter, Meverse, uh, Tumblr, Instagram at John Wesley A. Very cool. And make sure to check out our Mario Kart TV footage that we're editing ourselves. Very uh, finely uh, tuned editing by my by us. A joke because it's <laughs> pre-edited. <laughs> but, uh, but anyways, yeah. Um, if you want to play Mario Kart online with us. You know, you can just friend us in Meverse, and that'll show up there. So, I am T-C-H-A-T-E-N. It's good for Twitter, Instagram, Meverse, YouTube, all its shenanigans. And um, John John Wesley A, Aaron A.L. Rivera 239. Were you able to see <laughs> Meverse? Um, no, I'm working on it. <laughs> okay. uh, well, like I haven't even tried, but oh, okay. I looked at it actually about like an hour ago, and I saw that uh, some people have done it. They just okay. call Nintendo and do it. So okay. you got to call yeah. Nintendo to do yeah, it. Yeah, you got to call them to do it. <laughs> you got to pick up the phone and call. Yeah. Them. They're pretty nice people, you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll be back Sunday for level fifty-three of the show. Thanks for watching and have a good night. Bye bye. See ya.